Jeff again, and today I get to start one of the segments that actually got me super excited to start this channel. So um, I am not a really fast runner. I'm not a slow runner. I'd say mid-pack. Um, I'm better in the triathlon side because I'm a fast biker. But with running, I mean, even though I love it, I'm evolving and getting better as I go. One of the things I really love, though, is gear. And it doesn't matter if it's run gear, bike gear, whatever. I love it. And I love getting a good deal on it. So uh, I kind of wanted to see how we could do with some different stores. So um, like I said, I mean, I, uh, I'm i a little cheap in terms of individual stuff. This is my gear closet. I don't skimp. I buy a lot of stuff. I have a good set of options. I have, that's There's barely any running stuff in there. All my running shoes are in a different area. But uh, yeah, I figured let's try some stores. There's nothing over there. I'm still doing it. Um, and see what we can do. See what we can find for, uh, you know, relatively budget uh, trail running stuff. Um, I'll go through some other things in the future about trail running and, you know, the fact that the secret is you really don't need anything other than a normal running getup. Um, but we'll get to that. So anyway, today, let's start with uh, the stuff I wear day to day, kind of price it out and give ourselves a baseline. So to kind of normalize what we're looking for now, I think we need to break this down into uh, what I would consider your your necessary running kit. Um, I wear a lot of stuff on a run that uh, I'm not going to include in this, um, but uh, I think we can kind of break it down to, to six main items. So we're starting kind of feet up. We're talking shoes. Obviously you need running shoes or something. I mean, you can go barefoot if you want, and I do sometimes, but... Uh, we're not doing that today. Um, socks, um, again, when I do a triathlon, I don't wear socks, but running, I typically do. Shorts, and if necessary, the underwear that goes under them, I usually do a liner short. I typically like a boxer liner, um, and uh, we'll see, you know, is what I have and what I'll be searching for. Um, a shirt of some kind, again, this is kind of more seasonal. I don't always wear a shirt in the summer, but uh, for the most part, I got one, especially when I'm running at work. My coworkers don't want to see my hairy chest running around. A hat. Um, I am dead set on running a hat, running in a hat. Um, you might not be. You might be somebody that can run either without one. You know, if you're a lady, you might be wearing a ponytail or something. I sometimes wear a bandana, but uh, for the most part, I wear a trucker. Um, and then sunglasses. Um, and again, these are kind of hit or miss because, again, like I went for a run today at lunch and I didn't need sunglasses. I had, you know, a nice hazy sky out. I just went without them. But that's what we're going to start with. We're going to try to. Uh, you know, price out and in this case buy uh, these six items and go from there see what we can do. So again, shoes, socks, shorts with or without underwear. If they don't have underwear, we're going to have to buy a pair of those too. Shirt, hat, sunglasses. First things first, shoes. This is probably going to be the most expensive set or like most expensive piece in all of these. So this is a pair of Lunar Glide 7s. These are the Flash model. Um, I love Lunar God 7s. Um, I have, let's see, at this point I think I'm on my third pair. Um, they're really what got me into running. They, they fit my foot really well. I use them for triathlon. These have lock laces on them. These ones are pretty toast, as you can see. I probably got seven, 800 miles on these guys. Um, but they're uh, what I find to be a really comfortable shoe. Um, something that's not crazy, but uh, as is Nike's way. Um, we're, they're currently completely done. There's no more Lunar Glide at all. Um, the 9 is the most recent model, and it's not that similar to the Lunar Glide 7, so I kind of keep my eye out for uh, for sales and you know situations where I can buy a, a new or lightly used pair. So, again, I got a new pair in the um, in the dresser out there with the rest of the running shoes. This pair is just kind of to show you how often I use them. You can see they're dusty. These were uh, used on the trail last week. Uh, these guys... I gotta check my order history here. I got these in the last sale through Rakuten, and after coupons and everything, I paid sixty-one dollars and sixty-nine cents, which is actually a steal. I think the first pair of this, these that I bought, I paid eighty something. One after that was at least seventy. So, really not a bad price at all. But uh, again, definitely the most expensive piece of this particular outfit. Fancy socks. They're so pretty. They're pink. Um, I just got these. You can see these are brand new. Um, I got uh, their 3048s. They're their lightweight running uh, sock. I really like 3048s. I've got some uh, hiking socks that I use by them, as well as compression sleeves that I use for recovery. And I'm a fan, so when they have a sale, I don't mind picking up another pair. The bonus is they're cheap. This was $12 for a three pack. So, four bucks for these guys. Um, one more clarification on this as I continue to go through. This is literally the stuff that I wear on an almost daily basis when I'm running. So, I mean, some of this is kind of oddball, but there is video proof on the internet of me running the Fit One Half Marathon in this exact getup. Minus these socks, because they're brand new, but something very similar. 
So if you want to check, you go find it. But anyway, this, that's uh, in terms of what I wear. Some of this coming up is super cheap, but it's what I wear. So it's a fair comparison. All right, continuing up my legs, shorts. Um, these are relatively cheap as well. These are Russell brand, which uh, in case you don't know, that is the Walmart house brand. And honestly, they make solid shorts. I've got a couple pairs I don't care for as much, but that was really right around the time when I switched from without a liner to with a liner and went to a... Or say just a smaller short, but you can see these have a boxer liner. This is what I like, a kind of a longer one that goes uh, hits you about mid thigh. Um, but yeah, pretty basic short. They have um, pockets. They got one zip pocket. Nothing fancy. Um, I had to check online. I want to say, and I'm 95% sure these were $13.88. So definitely not breaking the bank. Uh, but you'll see with stuff coming up. Um, you know, on the on the more expensive side for this particular video shirt um this is where it gets crazy cheap uh one of the things that i like with uh, my gear is i keep an eye out when i'm at thrift stores um it's you know take that as you may you may or may not like uh using gear that may be used um especially shorts it's kind of weird you know wearing shorts that have somebody else's uh sweat in but uh i don't mind it and i've gotten some great deals um uh, yeah, so this one uh, was actually brand new when I bought it, and it's you can see it's a Solomon shirt. It's a really nice shirt. Um, it's for a race in Big Sky um, that I have not done, but <laughs> maybe someday. Anyway, um, fits like a glove. I really like this particular cut. It is a large, but honestly, it fits like a small medium, but uh, I'm a fan. Um, vents well. It's pretty high vis, and it's super comfy. So uh, the kicker of all this is I paid a dollar for this shirt, <laughs> which is... I don't think I can beat it. I have a few other shirts. I've got a, um, uh, I think it's a Brooks, no, it's a Saucony shirt that I ran in today. And it's by no means a bad shirt. Paid 20 something. I like this one more. So this just happens to be wicked cheap and the one that I run with. But, uh, you know, as we kind of go through these comparisons, one of them is going to be Goodwill. I'm going to see if I can duplicate a deal this good. Continuing on up, sunglasses. Now, the first thing you might notice if you look at these is they are freaking beat. These things have been used so many times. I have sweat the coating off most of them. I had to go back in my order history at Steep and Cheap back in the awesome old days when they had really, really good deals and see what these cost. I paid $24.95 for these. They're Smith Super Methods. Um, this is another thing. I get kind of set in my ways when I find something I like. Uh, these... I was going to retire them and, uh, to the point that I started looking for another pair, and I did find one. I bought a pair in Italy and had it shipped here. Uh, they were significantly more expensive, but I like them so much. But I still use these. They're not toasted. I, I can still get lenses for them. So I got some kind of rose lenses, and uh, yeah, they're great. They still get run in daily, and they still work great. So uh, $24.95, um, I think this is going to be beatable because you know, like gas station sunglasses are surprisingly decent, but we'll see where we end up on those. And finally, hats. Um, in case you didn't notice back there, I like hats. I got quite a few hats. But uh, this one is the one that kind of, again, I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It's uh, the one that showed me that I really like running in truckers. If you look up here, I got quite a few running hats. I don't wear them anymore. They're not as comfortable. They don't vent as well. Um, I like these guys. Um, this one is uh, Crave Jerky. This is I kind of like the uh, the foam ones here. This one's just cotton, um, which is not bad. It's really not hot, and you can see. I mean, I sweat the crap out of it, but uh, but it works fine. Um, I have emailed Crave to see if they will sponsor me and give me free jerky. They didn't respond, which is a little bit of a bummer. But there's a picture of me at, at uh, the PDX Triathlon this year, uh, rocking this hat, just looking out so good. So I don't understand their logic. I am, uh, you know. A brand ambassador at best so anyway um another awesome thing about this a buck a whole dollar goodwill is good for these things i don't think this one was worn if you know at all much before i got it um you can see it's not the dirt isn't from me i've worn this probably 30 or 40 times at least since i bought it a, a few months ago but um but yeah the other thing this uh, you see how deep it is i got a giant head um and deep truckers work really well because they let they vent they don't shift around a lot um but I can kind of move them. So if I'm starting to get hot and I need to kind of kick the brim up or something, they stay in place when I move them, but they don't, uh, you know, they don't wiggle around. They don't crush my head and they just, uh, they work really well. So that's going to be something we're looking forward to is a deep trucker. We'll see how well that goes, but uh, that's for later videos. All right. I pulled out the handy dandy calculator and it looks like 106.52 for this baseline running kit. So Again, my day-to-day -day kit, everything that I wear um, most days when I'm not, you know, when it's, it's getting cold out, but uh, if it's above 40, 45 and I'm out running, um, I'll typically just be, you know, shorts, t-shirts, hat, sunglasses, 
shoes, obviously. Um, and yeah, 106 bucks. That's about what I expected. Now I think, like I said, um, especially at places like Goodwill, we're going to be able to beat that. Uh, the shoes are going to be the big one. I mean, you're not spending 62 bucks on shoes at a Goodwill. You're spending a lot less. But it's also you got to find some that fit. So we'll see how that goes. I've had luck in the past. I'll probably throw in another like, holy crap, look how cheap I made this particular outfit video in the near future. But uh, yeah, so um, right now I'm thinking, obviously Goodwill, because I love Goodwill. Um, Walmart, because I've had good luck with them. We're going to have to wait until we get back in season, because last I saw, it's all tights there, which I like their tights too. I've ripped one pair, which is a little bit of a bummer. I'll get to that at some point. But um Got to wait till they get the actual shorts back in. Uh, probably Target, because they're kind of comparable, uh, if not a bit better. And I got to imagine the C9 or whatever brand they have there is not going to be bad. Um, I'm taking a little bit of a uh, the key from uh, Sophia Nygaard, another YouTube lady who's infinitely more popular than I am. But I'm going to try out Wish. Um, and I'm probably actually going to film that really soon, because if you don't know them, they take forever to ship. So it's late November. I imagine if I order today, I might have things by the end of January. <laughs> so I'll probably get going on that. Um, you'll see the video way later because I want to make sure that I actually test everything. But um, yeah, I guess on that front, testing-wise, I've tested this. It works really well for me. It's uh, it's kind of my go-to kit. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's ways to improve, and maybe I'll find some stuff uh, at these stores that will allow that. But for now, this is sort of my baseline. I know that I can run comfortably and very long distances in this, and uh, that's what I do regularly. So I think we're going to call it for this one, so keep an eye out. I will release another one of these when I don't piss off the wife too much, and she lets me spend a little money on even more gear. Um, until then, see you guys later.